Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to animate the exhaust smoke trail animation in After Effects. In the last lesson, I have also shown you guys how to animate this plane with the background. If you haven't checked it out, you can get the link in the description. Go check it out. And let's jump into After Effects and start with the smoke animation. So let's create a new composition. Let's name it Smoke. Keeping the resolution as 1920 to 1080, a full HD resolution, and the frame rate of 30. Press OK. So after that, we are going to add a triangle over here. So we are going to select the polygon tool. And if you get do not get triangle with the polygon, you can simply press the down key to decrease the side. If you press the up key, you are going to increase the number of sides and if you keep decreasing the sides the list you can get is a triangle okay so let's put the triangle over here and we are going to stretch it like this let's move the anchor point to somewhere around here and let's increase the thickness a bit as well like this all right Let's turn on this to properly align it with the center. Okay, so we're going to change the color and give it a slight gray side color. Something like this. Now, after that, we're going to add a circle. For that, we have picked an ellipse and make a circle over here. Let's name it Smoke and scale it down something like this. We're going to put the white color for fill. Okay, now press P to open the position, put a keyframe, press S to open the scale, put a keyframe, press U to Open the properties with keyframes and then we are going to jump on to around 30 frames. We are going to move it at the end like this. Also scale it up. Alright, so now we are going to put loop expression in on both of these properties. So now we are going to duplicate this layer once again and then we are going to change the path a bit, position path. So we are going to drag it and put it this side. But remember you cannot move it over here because there isn't any keyframe. So you need to move the clay head on any of the keyframes and then you can change the path and after that we are going to duplicate this one more time. Select this and put it over here. Maybe we can extend it a bit like this. Again, we are going to duplicate. Put it over here like this. Again, duplicate. Put it over here like this. Now we can even offset in this layers. So we need to add loop expression in all of these properties. So copy this expression and paste it in all of these properties. Okay, so press U to open the property with keyframe. And also I think we can increase the size at this end a bit. So let's give it around 500. So to increase the scale, we need to put the playhead on any of the keyframe and select all the keyframes together to change the value of the scale. All right, now after that, we are going to move the layer head at the start. So select all these layers and duplicate it once again. So we're going to repeat the process until it covers up the whole thing.
All right, so we're going to press Control Alt to select all the layers and move the layer head of all the layers at the start at zero like this. All right, so after that, I would like to add an adjustment layer. Go to new, new adjustment layer. Rename this layer effect. We are going to apply a few effects on this layer. So the first effect we are going to apply is the roughen edges. Double click on it to apply. Let's increase the broader value to 15. And we are going to apply an expression on evolution. All right. Now after that, we are again going to apply Gaussian Blur. Simply type Blur. And we are going to apply this effect. Give the value of around 20. After that, we are going to apply Matte Choker. Let's change some value over here as well. Let's change the choker to around minus 10. All right, I think we need more white portion over here. So we can simply copy and paste it once again. So after that, we're going to add another effect over here, which is the brush strokes to slightly add more roughness to the edges. Let's change the size to around one. Let's check it. Maybe decrease it even more. All right, so after that, you can apply it to a scene and you can simply add a blending mode of overlay and it is going to look like this. So that is it for this lesson. And I have also shown you guys how to animate this plane with the background. So go check it out. You can get the link in the description. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.